Your Highness, Mr. President, our dear host, Excellency Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I warmly congratulate the United Arab Emirates on hosting the 28th session of the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. I am pleased to speak once again in front of such a distinguished audience. Climate change is a progressing at an alarming rate. It is a universal challenge. And this is the reason why the entire international community should face it in solidarity, in a reasonable manner, and according to the principles of sustainable development. However, still too little attention is paid to the human dimension, which is the substance that gives meaning to the climate change response. I have said it repeatedly and will keep saying it. Man and his needs have to be at the forefront of energy and emission transformation. It is human present and future, health, security, and prosperity, which should be placed at the center of every climate policy. This kind of modus operandi was worked out at COP24, and I encourage you to apply it consistently in all pro-climate actions in line with the Katowice rulebook. Phasing out fossil fuels too quickly generates excessive burdens for society. People cannot bear additional costs for energy transition. To make it just, it must not undermine their quality of life. Let's bear it in mind when switching from fossil fuels to efficient low carbon sources of energy. And let's ensure that the process is reasonable and rational. The government of my country treats climate goals very seriously and successfully implements solutions which support our citizens in such areas as photovoltaics or heat recovery technology. We are also developing wind farms. In terms of investments in wind energy, Poland ranked third in the European Union last year. Furthermore, we are taking resolute actions towards building a stable nuclear energy sector. It is necessary to provide Poland with energy security, which we need so much, and to move our country closer to climate neutrality. But contrary, climate change is more than just energy transition. It also includes nature conservation, something that should be more in our focus since global warming impacts not only humans, but also natural resources. For this reason, the mission of nature conservation should receive a strong boost to make it truly international priority. Biodiversity plays a crucial role in mitigating climate change. Nature can help us if we help it. However, it is necessary to consciously and sensibly manage ecosystems, for instance, through the effective use of ecological engineering, as we are successfully doing in my country. We are not only preserving, but also multiplying the wealth of Polish natural resources. Ecosystems need care and active steps to strengthen their climate potential with future generations in mind. Mindful of that, Poland is carrying out a number of initiatives to keep the stability of forests. We have implemented small-scale water retention and soil erosion prevention projects. We have pioneered the stimulation of the forest ecosystem to intensify natural processes resulting in greater carbon sequestration. 
for imitating nature in playing its role is necessary. This is something to keep in mind. In conclusion, I want to convey a clear message. Let's cooperate. Let's learn from each other experiences. Let's provide pro-climate solutions, keeping in mind both ambition goals and respecting the dignity and quality of life of all people. May these actions prove that just and green transition is by all means possible, because the planet on which we live is our common heritage that requires special care. Thank you very much.